Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This time I, uh, I'm here to show off my new NVIDIA surround uh, setup. I went out and bought these Dell S2240M 21.5 inch IPS panels. These are 1080p panels. Uh, and I upgraded them from my old 23 inch uh, Samsung. Now the reason I went with these panels is because I felt that having a single 27 inch IPS panel at 1080p wasn't it wasn't extreme enough for me. I wanted something completely different. I wanted the extra real estate uh, for productivity reasons and uh, from what I hear and from what I've experienced now, uh, gaming is just unreal on uh, these this type of setup. So in terms of gaming, um, obviously the pros are that it's much more immersive. But some of the cons are, I think, support for this type of gaming isn't 100% there. Uh, for the newer games, yes, the, the, they're much better at supporting um, NVIDIA Surround, but for the older games, um, when they first came out with uh, NVIDIA Surround, it didn't, uh, it did, doesn't really work that well and you have a lot of uh, glitches that you have to go out and download third-party applications to fix. Uh, other than that, uh, you really need to have a computer that's up to spec in order to run NVIDIA Surround well. Now, when you take three 1080p panels and you merge them in NVIDIA Surround, you're going to be somewhere at native resolution of 5760 by 1080, but with bezel correction, you're rendering out 5900 um, by 1080 on my rig. It depends on the panels, obviously, but that's a lot of pixels to be running. You're almost at 4K. Uh, resolution with that. So you really need to have a graphics card that's able to handle uh, modern games at those resolutions. Uh, and other than that, in terms of Windows experience, I want to show you guys a couple things. Um, Windows Arrow Snap doesn't work that well, especially with the NVIDIA Surround, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. All right, so Windows Arrow Snap. Uh, before I start talking about it, I uh, want to mention that I am running Windows 7 Ultimate, 64-bit. Uh, so I'm not sure if they fixed this problem in Windows 8 or not. Probably, because I hear it does have better um, multi-monitor support. Um, but let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So here is a standard window open. And uh, normally what you would do if you have a single panel or even a dual uh, monitor set up, uh, you just go ahead and if you snap it to the left, uh, it would occupy half the screen. Or if you snap it to the right, it would also occupy half the screen. Uh, and also if you snap it to the top, it would occupy the entire uh, screen. Now this works normally uh, perfectly fine with two monitors in Windows 7, but when you have three and you're running NVIDIA Surround, what NVIDIA does is it treats all three displays as one giant display. And this creates a very, very, very big problem for uh, Windows Arrow Snap. So what happens when I try to expand this and use Windows Arrow Snap in the center display is that it spans across all three displays, rendering three monitors perfectly useless. The only thing I can use is the center panel. Um, so the only workaround around this that I found, and I've also looked for third-party applications, but couldn't find any. Uh, so the only workaround is that you go in and you turn off, let me zoom in so you guys can see. And focus. Okay. So the only workaround I found is to actually just turn off NVIDIA Surround altogether. Uh, and then you go into your control panel and use the displays and extend them as one single, um, as a multi-monitor display. And you extend them. That way Windows uh, Arrow actually, uh, Arrow Snap actually works uh, in there. And this is annoying for a couple of reasons. One is because every time you want a game, you're going to have to go in and change the settings each time and configuration takes about two to three minutes which isn't long but it's annoying every time you want to uh, game and do that. I don't game that often so it's not so much of a problem for me but when I do 
once a game, I just find it really annoying that I have to go in and out of the NVIDIA control panel and configure with bezel correction and all that other stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about NVIDIA Surround, guys. Thank you for watching. I will definitely be making some more videos um, uh, showing off a little bit of gaming. Um, we'll see which games we run. So thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more.